Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add in lasers to your game. It's actually quite easy and quite simple, but there's a few things that we have to do first. So first things first, I am going to go into Blender here. If you don't have Blender, please install it. It is something that's necessary for game development. And all I'm going to do is literally just export the basic cube as a um, uh, as a FBX here. Now I've already done this here, uh, he, and so you can see I have like laser cube. So I'm just going to export that there. That's pretty much all you need to do. Now here's why we need to do that. Okay, so I've opened this up in my uh, folder here, and I'm just going to drag this over. Okay, now this is going to become very apparent to you uh, very quickly, um, and if you don't do this step. The rest of this will not work. Okay, so I'm very clear on this. The rest of this will not work. Okay, so usually your import translations are going to be something like 000, but I'm going to put the X to 100. Okay, and I'm just going to go import here. And there's a couple things that happen. First, we have a nice cube here. Second, it imports material. Okay, so as you can see, the origin of this is on the side. If I had not done that, the origin might be somewhere else. And we really don't want that. We really don't want the origin to be anywhere else but the side. And it's going to be, um, I, and you basically need to do this. If you don't do this, it absolutely will not work okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that here and I'm gonna go into more of my material here and we might as well do this right now okay so right now we have a parameter here and I'm gonna call this parameter simply color and we're gonna programmatically change this later okay so we're gonna programmatically change this later here but we need to make it like emissive meaning that it needs to glow because lasers glow so how do we do that well I'm just gonna add in a multiply Okay, and I'm going to drag this into the emissive here, and then I'm also going to drag this into the first item here. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a constant, and basically we just need any kind of constant here, and the intensity is basically what you, whatever number you put in here. The higher the number, the higher the intensity. Let's make this a nice green color, because why not, and uh, just keep in mind um, that uh, you want to take a look at the values here. So actually, I'm going to put this as 0 .0, um, 0 0.001 and then 1 and then 1. So these are the exact numbers. Um, actually, uh, what was the what was the previous one here? Right. So it was oh zero here. Okay. So we got 0 .01, 1 and then 0. Okay. So let's just make it a nice green color and then. It'll take a couple seconds, but once this kind of works here, you can see that it, it does glow here. And if we just, um, and remember, this material here was dragged in with the cube. When you drag in that FBX that we exported from Blender, it will drag in a material. So this material here, uh, we'll call this laser color material. Okay, there we go. And then uh, if I just drag this out here, okay, it's not updating. Do I have to save this here? I think I probably do. All right, and then it, it should update. If it doesn't, no worries, we can always, there we go. It did update here. And by the way, if you look at this here, you can see that, well, it is glowing off the player, even though it's not, um, well, you know, it, it's basic. it is glowing to whatever the effect is. All right, so that's kind of step number one. Step number two is we need to actually make a turret. So let's go ahead, let's add in a blueprint class. We'll make it an actor, and that actor will be called laser turret. Okay, and so we can add in multiple kinds of lasers here, but let's hop into this, and all we're going to do is we're going to add in a cube, okay, and we're going to add in another cube, okay. 
And this cube here, let's kind of make sure that's locked here. Let's move it down. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it out here. So that way, when I drag this out here, right, you can see where it's facing. That's pretty much all the reason I'm doing that here. Maybe we can make it a little bit more pronounced. It doesn't really matter what it is, as you can see. So basically, we have a cube here, and then everything works out. Now, that might be a bit big for a turret. So let's, um, the other thing you can do is um, we can drag this underneath here. And then if we lock it, we can just kind of scale the whole thing down a bit, okay? And then you can see that this is here as well, okay? Next thing we need to do is outside of all that, we need to add an static mesh, okay? And this static mesh is going to be our laser color. So I'm going to type in laser cube, and sure enough, we have this laser cube. It's huge, but the key point, and this is the, this is the real key point here, is that see the origins on the side here if that origin is not on the side then this will not work so we can make this as big or as small as we want I'm just gonna simply move it here so we kinda have like an emitter node that looks pretty good let's hop back uh, let's kinda uh, compile this and save this here and there you go you can see that we have like a nice emitter node here okay so this is kinda step number one um, this will probably be two videos just because I like breaking things up that way um, but um, yeah so I think we've set everything up here I think it's a good time to probably end this um, uh, yeah, I think it's a good time to probably end it. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out when you like and subscribe. And in the next video, we'll set up the laser so that it will, well, frankly, kind of quote unquote, shoot out of uh, this uh, area here. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.